Welcome back to Cigar Time. Is that love, better? Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. I thought we were okay. Change it, it up. We're mixing it up. Start over. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You are wonderfully entertaining and amusing and educating a show all about premium cigars. I love that music. Brought to you from Studio oh, B. <laughs> yes. In they beautiful do downtown. In beautiful downtown C. Horsham, Pennsylvania, huh? at the it's Cigar it's Cigar it's Stores. On uh, where we have Easton Road in uh, Horsham, right? Yeah. Right. Yes. Which is right north of Willow Grove. It, for those of you take who are the paying any attention freeway. to any of this. South of Canada. Again, <laughs> this is San Lutano Month. Everything is South of Canada. Yeah. Yeah. San Lutano Month. Made by AJ Fernandez. Fernandez. Thank you. And uh, Scott will tell us about uh, some wonderful events we have a little while. Does in, anybody in, know what in a little the while. A and AJ stands for? Uh, probably stand for Arturo. Oh, what does it stand Anthony? for? Nope. It's Abdel. 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 Abdel J. Fernandez. Abdel. Jesus. 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 for J. Jesus. Okay, now that we butchered that sponsor, who we love and we love his cigars, and you love his cigars too. Where are we? Horsham. Horsham. We're going to talk about a cigar. Yeah, I think we are. We're going to talk about the. We're getting right into it, huh? Why don't you. Oh. You don't waste no time. Don't forget, we're not the only game in town. We have nine stores. And we appreciate your business. Man, do we appreciate your business. Is this in Montana? And if you're not getting what you want in our stores, let me know. Email me no. at cccigars.com. Let me know. Let me just All right, let's go. Let's go. Or let me know. cccigars.com. Well, the lovely Miss T will tell us all oh. about our first cigar. This cigar is the San Latano Bull, which is by Boom. far my favorite cigar. I shouldn't say that, but it is. Um, the wrapper is an Ecuadorian Sumatra, which I know Paul loves. Yes, uh, the binder and the filler are both Nicaraguan. The sizes are three, Toro Robusto and a Torpedo. And the taste profile is oak, coffee, leather, and some spice. Now let me ask, you is that the question? reason there's the oh. bowl on the cedar? That's how you know it's the bowl. Yeah, that's ah, how they had a whole yes. bunch of this cedar with bowl imprinted. They said, oh, you know, I just, we should about, the I just have to talk about the way they package it. I think it's gorgeous. Makes you just want to pick it up and smoke the cigar. Yes, and the wrapper doesn't hurt much Do you see either. all the crystals on this? This it's a shiny. Spark, it's a it's sparkly shiny. leaf. You can see this is that at plume? night. We put, no. Did we put plume on that it's one? Pre no, there's no plume on there. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> ready to come out. It, it looked like it's ready to come to the surface. Again, we're cutting and lighting our cigars with uh, the Zycar, official sponsor of Me too. Uh, Cigar Time Television. Why are you guys here? Oh. What? Yours ran out of fuel. Yours ran out of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> After a month and a half. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mine lasts a day and a half. <laughs> well, with 12 times, how many times you light it up, I'm now sure Now, let me ask does. you a question, Paul. Is yes. there ever a day you smoke more than 12? Yes. Oh. Is, are, are they usually days that end in Y? Every one of them. Ah. Do you ever no. smoke, uh, like, less than five? No. Oh, no. dear. Wow. Well, in jail. Huh? In jail. In jail. <laughs> you only had three in jail? No. So you changed the saying from in bed to in jail. Uh, sadly, yes. I haven't heard that in a long time. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Wow. You had extensive experience at this, correct? More than I like to admit. So you come, you come from the big house to our house. That's it. Okay. Did you guys know that AJ originally started? He started with uh, in Nicaragua with six rollers, and did you know he made the uh, Rocky Summer Blend? Years ago, yeah. yeah. He made that for, that was yeah. like for Rocky first. Patel. Commercial success. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. a fan of that cigar. I, I like the cigar. I like the winter blend. The winter blend was fantastic. Oh, that was knockout. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. the one that had like the uh, Lancaster tobacco. Yes, that was the PA forty one. Yeah, that, was uh, I think that became the Rock the Patel Brothers, didn't it? Yes, that was yeah, yeah. Yep. it was very good. He now he makes nine million cigars a year now, AJ. Wow, wow. Really, really? Yeah. Wow. And those six rollers must be working yeah, really hard. Be <laughs> a lot of overtime. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's time for our, our initial impressions. Scott, you want to lead off? Um, meaty. I get like a, a very meaty, almost animal. I, I almost want to say venison, or maybe even. <laughs> this is gonna sound strange. <laughs> <laughs> like a flame and yon flavor. How about like dead raccoon? No, 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 no much better than that. Dead, dead bull. Dead. It's dead called the bull. How many dead raccoons have you eaten? Seriously. Well, all of them. I hope he ate them when they were dead. 
Yeah. <laughs> None of them were They were alive. certainly dead after he ate yeah. them. <laughs> I had hair until this one was alive, and he just scratched. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. Um, there, uh, I, I like it so far. Um, it's initially smooth. Um, I got the. I talked about the sort of the meaty flavor. Um, I'm definitely leathery. Paul, tastes like a baseball mitt. It's just got tons of flavor right, right from the go. Uh, I like it. What the cool. heck did you do to the head of that cigar? I bit it. I'm See? almost afraid for the next one. <laughs> um. I get a sweet maple on the first light up, maybe. Sweet maple. Sweet maple, sweet oak. That's supposed to sound like right out of the tree yeah. or adulterated? No, the sap that comes out of the tree. You know how you can just lick it off? What I thought oh, about. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you just go you, up and I would you pay, pay, <laughs> tree and lick the sap off. Tia, I would I pay did. big money to see you lick I did, the I sap swear. off a tree. Video of I really can't no, improve upon this. I really this. did. It's really I gross. I cannot improve upon it's this. It's really gross. But wow. no, that's what, what I get. What kind of tree was it? It's maple. No, it was wood. It was so good, <laughs> Get it? Wood. You know what? I you get it. Why wow. do you just do that? Why do I always feel I'm losing funny control of the show? Out of our mouth. <laughs> well, there's an old saying. Oh, there's an old saying from the mouths of babes, all time come gems. You well, have she's to stop a babe. saying that also. Oh, we say that said? all the time. He just I wants have, you to stop talking. He's I like can't even remember baby. ever saying that on the show. <laughs> ever. Really? You Bruce, I got news for you. Go back to the archives and I got news for you. Well, what else do I sell? I, I haven't together. done. No, that was, I was actually yeah. Laurel has, was actually has making left the building. Robin, thank Laurel God. has left the building. Robin, oh, at a very hearty pace. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Well, my first impressions is I get a lot of um, I get a chocolate taste out of this. It's very hearty, like Scott said. I don't get meaty. I get hearty. Um, it's very well packed. Hardy, uh, box press cigar. Hard again. Hearty. Stop. Um, <laughs> I, do get a I do get a leather taste. Oh. I said Laurel left the building. It's I didn't say good. Hardy left. You guys, <laughs> really? It's a good cigar. I think we got to start with uh, Abbott and Costello. Who? Uh, Who? Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Are you, Aren't you oh, glad sorry. you tuned I'm in? Done. Are you done? I'm what done. about the? It's you about always, time. You always talk <laughs> about the retro hail. What do you have to say about the retro hail? Yeah. What do you have to say about the retro? I'm getting a, a, a really full bodiness to the retro hail. Very spicy. Yeah. Um, the retro I think this good. is much retro more of a full-bodied cigar it than is. you realize because it it's smooth. It is. Right? All right, we, we have a, a, a almost like a Padron. We have another new segment to add tonight. Uh, uh -oh. Tia on bands. Really? Yeah. No, I'm we just making about a joke. Yeah. <laughs> the band is gorgeous. Um, I do like the band. It has his name on it. Really? Yeah. It's, it's got a tiny very, little picture of a tobacco. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Well, I just like the fact that it's so. wrapped in cedar, right in a Spanish cedar, no. and it's gorgeous. It's too okay. What do you want me to say about the band? No, 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 it's no. Very, it's very well, oval -less. No. I, uh, my, <laughs> my, my take on the cigar is I'm definitely getting, I'm not getting the wood, the oak, or the meatiness. I'm, I'm getting like a coffee taste. Yeah. Uh, not a lot of spice yet. Retro not too much. Retro. Right. It's, I don't know how to do it. Practice. I haven't done that. Do I do I swallow yeah, the smoke? Yeah. No. I get the spice on the retro. You, don't you actually correct. swallow it. You make a swallowing. I sort of know what I'm talking about. Well, so, yes, I wouldn't sorry. get I wouldn't get carried away. Well, so it's down through you know. I've seen some of your reviews. <laughs> oh stop! <laughs> I can't do it. I've seen some I of can't. yours. So. Oh, mine are spot on. No, yeah, like five conversations. I'll just trust you guys with the retro <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <You're going laughs> <five over here. laughs> All right, what are we doing next? Is Paul is Paul coming in from the cold or the fields or someplace? What do you have to educate us today? I have. Is that your drug stash? That is a vial of crack. What? No, no. Well, it's a it's a vial of cigar guide crack. Um, <laughs> you you might remember not long ago we were talking about tobacco flowers and about the seeds, and uh, Scott offered to uh, bring in a little vial of tobacco seeds. His personal stash. And oh, he remembered. <laughs> here they are. <laughs> and, uh, we'll give you a close-up of this later, but this is the good stuff. How many seeds are in there, you think? Thousands. How much? Oh, we should have a contest. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 you better have a... You better have a... You better have a tiny tweezer. <laughs> How, how if if you did it carefully, you could you could cultivate a large field with yeah, that. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, how, how big of an area could you cover with that? Is that more than an acre? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. The, the, the seeds are about the size of a coffee ground. 
fine ground. Fine like ground, a, yeah. Espre yeah. Like espresso. Yeah. yeah. That's incredible. It's so the, cool. If that little amount of seeds can... Can well, it, it's it's especially it interesting if you think about the guys that snuck seeds out of Cuba after the revolution, yeah. and you know, like, I wonder where they hid it. What do you do? Pin, take a pinch? And, <laughs> yeah, like, right. In your ear? Or? Where would you hide it? Hey, let me look at it. <laughs> <laughs> take a, yeah, take where, a, where, 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 where no, 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 we're not going down that road. We're definitely not going down that road. You hold it in your arm. Yeah, where would you slip? Well, here's an interesting question. Slip it up. They probably swallow. They swallow. My guess is you wouldn't need much loot. <laughs> they do that with coffee beans. It's not a Gordo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very But are, funny. are you, are you going to reclaim them after they come out? No, but they're 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 they're, they're seeds. If somebody, it's it's if someone were to swallow the seeds, they swallow the seeds. It's how fertilizer. do you get them back? Exactly, right out in the field. Well, right. wait, 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 wait. Do you bring it's your own it's piano roll with you when you go out in the field? Yeah. Listen, if people will pay three hundred dollars a pound for, for monkey poop right. coffee, exactly. here's the problem with that philosophy. Tobacco seeds grow fast. Yeah. <laughs> do you get where this is going? Yeah, yeah. Do you completely get where this is going? Yeah. I think Paul better finish what he was talking about. Uh, well, you know, I think they're completely awry. Yeah, what, I've already gone what, awry. What Scott was not able to tell me is what seed these are. Tobacco seeds. Well, tobacco. I know that, but I don't know which breed or yeah. from what country. Pro they're probably Dominican. They came from general. And then they are probably Dominican. Or Honduras. Could be Honduras. Honduras. Yeah. The other thing I was thinking. The, you know, I could look at a cigar and tell you where the wrapper came from. I can't look, look at, at a seed, seed and tell you what country it's from. Well, well, speak, well good are you? Speaking of head. seeds, speaking of seeds, the interesting point to what I'm about to say is everybody says, or a lot of, not everybody, a lot of people say our cigars are made from Cuban seed. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Why don't you explain why that's not really a great state? Well, basically, it's all Cuban seed because yeah. mm -hmm. all of the cigar tobacco that is cultivated anywhere in the world originally came from seeds that were brought out of Cuba hundreds of years ago. When, when the Dutch started spreading tobacco all over the world, they were getting their seeds from Cuba to do it. So Cuban seed doesn't really mean anything. It just means cigar tobacco. Well, also, when you transplant a Cuban seed, it's a little bit of a mislabel to call them Cuban seed anymore because when you transplant it into the earth... It changes the yeah. flavor and the character completely. But, there's a but, Nicaragua probably comes the closest to the soil content of Cuba, mm -hmm. especially the west of Cuba, the non-mountainous areas. So, so even though you know Nicaragua, Nicaragua has some mountains, as I recall. Yes, yes. it does. Yeah. And some live volcanoes. Yes, mm -hmm. some live ones. So uh, Cuban seed is, is a description of just about all tobacco seeds, but it's the earth and the content of the soil that really determines a lot of the strength and, and, and taste and a lot of the things you get when you smoke a cigar. That's why premium cigar smoking is very subjective, very, very individual. You know, one man's or lady's feast is another man's or lady's famine, as we know from sometimes the discussions of, of various cigars and ratings and how they feel about a cigar. <coughs> it's very much like wine. Yes, it's exactly. individual taste yeah. and actually the, the, a lot of the processes from, a, from a, a bigger picture scale are very similar to wine. And uh, it's all with wine, it's all about the terroir. It's all the, the territory. It's the, like you said, yeah. it's the, yeah. um, how the much soil. How is in the soil. Exactly. And Sure. And it's the same thing with cigars. And as far as what cigar you like, you know, I'll, somebody asked me what makes a good cigar, and it's just like a bottle of wine, it's whether or not you like it. I mean, that's all. That's all it is. There are only two kinds of cigars: the good ones, the, the ones you ones. like, yeah, and the ones you don't. don't. Yep. it's true. And, and, and that begs and another question: like. when you hmm. when you have a blend that you really, really, really like, only the truly great manufacturers and growers can maintain a consistent blending year after year to make that cigar taste similar to what you previously smoked. The best that is Padron. Padron does yeah. do an excellent job. I believe one of the most consistent cigars yeah. in Puente, the world. Puente does a pretty good job too. Mm, not there's, well, a, there's, so. a, there's, a, there's an interesting thing about that. Really good cigar does. blenders always make secondary and tertiary blends so that if the crop in a particular year doesn't taste exactly the way it should, 
they already have in the pipeline right. alternative tobaccos to use, use to, yeah. to reproduce that flavor exactly. Well, at uh, this point in the show, we'd like to cut away and uh, we have another interview with Robbie from AJ Fernandez. So take it away. All right, we're back from our break, which we spent doing the best of all possible things, <sighs> smoking a good cigar. Ah. Uh, you, you were, where were we? Well, I think we were talking about um, where we have come as an organization in a so short period of time and us being uh, still a boutique, but someone that makes their own tobacco, their own cigar with their own tobacco. All the way. And again, if I did my homework right, you guys are rolling nine million cigars a year, give or take. You know, I don't have the official counter in the factory. <laughs> you don't sit there but and we click have, off. The <laughs> I don't click everyone. Uh, I try to smoke as many as I can, but I don't click off everyone. Quality control. We, you know, 50, anywhere from thirty to 50,000 a day. It could be anywhere. Oh, you're yeah. getting into my league. Yeah. <laughs> I try to smoke as many as I can and uh, watch as many go by. But they let me clean up and sweep up at the factory. That's and, what I do, Paul. And presumably you're not doing that with six rollers anymore. No. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we've gone from the six rollers to a, be, between 170 to 200 sets of rollers. That's a, that's a good size. High production. High production. And I understand that your, your factory now is one of, it's not the largest, but one of the largest in Nicaragua? That's what they tell me. I think it, by square footage, it, it's the largest factory tobacco factory in Central America. Uh -huh. That's mm -hmm. impressive. Yeah. It's, bu it's big. It's the compound. It's beautiful. It's spacious. When, when the groups come down, we keep you right inside the compound. That's where the house is and the pool and you drink, you smoke. And that's um, all in Esteli? It's all in the factory in Esteli. Correct. And where he grows his own, AJ grows his own tobacco, is that also Esteli or is he scattered around a little bit? Pretty much we have uh, most of the farms in Esteli. We do contract some farmland in Condega and Jalapa, you know, that, that borders the Hamastran Valley. Um, so we're, we're kind of spread out. We're diversified. And we still grow, you know, buy a little bit with Ecuadorian uh, tobacco, Connecticut, and Sumatra. Well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an Ecuador tobacco guy. Which we're smoking By trade. right now. Yes, we are. Happily. <laughs> um, well, are there things either on the horizon or new that you might want to share with us? Well, Paul, I'm glad you brought that up. The one cigar that we featured at IPCPR now is the New World. It's uh, four different sizes. It's a box press. It encompasses tobaccos from all four of the regions in Nicaragua. So you have previously mentioned Jalapa, Condega, Esteli, and we do have Ometepe in that cigar. Ah, volcanic island tobacco. Volcanic island tobacco. Rolled on the thighs of yeah. Nicaraguan virgins, right? If you can find <laughs> one. No, I didn't say that. Um, you know, I went fishing in that lake. Did you? Yes, in Lake Nicaragua. You catch a shark? Yeah, yeah, yes, I did. Did you A really? freshwater shark. That's what I went for, and it was uh, it was catch and release, but it was certainly exciting. Well, I do all my, my fishing. I catch a lot of fish at the uh, counter at the Publix. I'm from Florida. Yeah. So have, uh, I catch all my fish <laughs> at Publix. I have great results down there. <laughs> catch and don't release. Catch and don't release. Uh, yeah. So the so the new world is is the big new news, and in fact I think we're rating that either on this show or one of our shows coming up, and um, you left out something very important about that cigar. I always leave something out. What did I do? Well, you might want to mention price point. Well, the price point is wonderful for the end consumer for you guys. I mean, it is. It's something that should have been a seven, eight dollar cigar. But we said in the factory, we said we wanted everybody in America to enjoy a San Latino AJ Fernandez product. So we actually made that between a high five to high seven or low seven price point. And I think that's a really good example of what you were saying about the fact that because you control it from seed to box, you can put a cigar in somebody's hands for a lot less money than somebody else could make or even try to make the same cigar. Right. 
I mean, I think most of the people watching your show, Paul, they're all cigar smokers. But you know what? They also are in business and they understand vertical integration when you streamline your productions. Uh, if we have to go to a break. We Not yet. Not yet. We got about 10 seconds. Um, and talk when we fast. come back, we'll come back and talk about maybe the presence that we're getting in, in retailers like yourself. Good, let's do that. Okay. All right. We'll be back in a bit. And thanks for coming in. Thanks. Thank you very much, Robbie. Thanks, Robbie. Thanks, thanks Robbie. Again, Robbie. Good to see you. Thanks to our illustrious crew that <laughs> interviewed Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> illustrious. And I think it's time to get some more about our cigar. How you how you feel about it? I love the cigar. <laughs> I, honestly, I, I like. Well, well, I know you I like, like it because it was free. I, well, that's one of the best parts, you're right? Um, there's not, a, not there's actually not guys. a San Latino cigar that that I don't really enjoy. Matter of fact, he makes other cigars, and there's really not many AJ Fernandez cigars that I don't really enjoy. Yeah. He does make good cigars, no yeah. question about it. Um, it's not, it is very smooth, so I'm not, the spice is not as evident, except as Rob, you mentioned earlier on the retro hail. Um, I am definitely getting, the, I still get that, that meaty flavor. Um, it's like a roast charred meat, and I'm getting more of the coffee and the leather from it. But it is, it's very, very smooth. And Scott, I, I go complex, too. Yeah, it is complex. Very. Since you have the mic, so to speak, uh, and this is A.J. Fernandez month, the entire month of November, why don't you tell us, uh, what are we offering the folks? All month long, if you buy any five uh, San Latino cigars, we'll give you two more free from two us. Two more free. Yep, absolutely. And if you buy a box or you buy you know, mix and match 20, we'll give you eight more free on us. And, on, and on San Latino. It's yeah. a good deal. Good deal. It's, it's, a, good deal. it's a great it's a deal. very good for these cigars. Especially if you like these. Are we having events? Um, actually, there's, there's no events coming up this week. Oh, so we'll wait. Yeah. We'll so we'll have to wait save that for the next show. Yeah. But you know, whenever you come into cigars, it's cigar, always an event. It's always fun. That's true. There's always, there's always, there's always something going oh, on. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I skip over, Paul? You skipped right okay. over me. I'm well. used to it. Um, I think it's an excellent cigar. Uh, I am continuously surprised at how rich it is and yet how smooth it is at the same time. Those Man. are the two things that really jump at me about it. See? Um, I think it's fantastic. It's delicious. Um, it's fermented. It's actually extensively aged, so I think maybe that's why... You know, it's, it's so already, smooth. it's so smooth. It's got the crystals already coming to the surface. Um, lots of smoke. I would definitely pair this with a cognac. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Definitely a Crown Royal Monarch. It's a limited, oh, pardon it's, me. <laughs> it's a limited edition, so I think it would go very well with this bowl because I think the bowl is very special. Um, the um, Monarch is a rich, smooth complex with spice and some dried fruit, so it would definitely pair well with this cigar. So cool. try it. Um, I'm with Scott. I love this cigar. Wow. Um, it, I, it's close to perfect. <coughs> it really is to me. I, wow. This has everything that I love about a cigar. It's it's sneaky full body, especially when you do the retro hail. Yeah. Uh, the spice. It's got the leather. It's got the coffee taste. It's got the spice. It's very sneaky. It's it's very good. It's an extremely mm -hmm. smooth cigar. So it's sneaky full. One of the things I think it's really interesting about it is we. You know, smoking cigars is all about an experience. Some people are very ritualistic with how they light the cigar, how they cut the cigar. And with this one, it just has a great feel in the hand. Yeah. I, it, in the it mouth. It may sound strange. Yeah, it does. It's just the box, box press, press but it's like, a, yeah. it's like a soft box press. It's, it's a little rounded on the edges. It's not like a perfect square. It just has a great look to it. And, it just, yeah. and it's got it, some heft. It does. It just feels good in your hand. Yeah. It, it may sound odd, but it, it feels no, it good. No, it does. Everything you say sounds odd. Well, true. As for me, I don't typically like fuller-bodied cigars, but this is a yummy cigar. Yeah. Yeah. It really is good. What What's the pricing of the cigar? Uh, they're, little, they're, little, they're a little. They're a little. They're a little pricing. The, <coughs> the Robusto. The, no, the Robusto is, is nine thirty, oh, really? nine sixty, somewhere around there, uh -huh. and the Churchill size is uh, ten sixty, somewhere, something like that. Price is a little higher in It's a little Jersey. higher, yeah, but, but you know what? It's worth it. It's, worth it. it. it's, it's absolutely worth, it. worth the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is a cigar that's worth it. And they come, yeah. in, they come yeah. in boxes of 10. Say that, oh, yeah. so it's an easy so buy. It's an easy it's an buy, easy yeah. Buy. Uh -huh. All right, I think it's time to put a number on it. Let's start down that end. Um, I'm going to go with um, I'm gonna go with a nine. This one deserves a nine. Okay. Wow. Um, my good friend, Stu Farber, Loves this cigar. He's yeah. the one who turned me on to this cigar. That's the reason, well, we, we, the reason we brought it in. Great. Yeah, Stewie's the, thank you, Stu, he for telling us about the cigar. Um, he gives it, a, I think he said 9.5 or somewhere around there. And I'd absolutely have to agree with him. Um, this is a close to as perfect cigar as you can get, in my opinion. 
my opinion, nine five. Okay. I'll go with uh, I'll go with a nine. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's, solid nine. It's it is. There's nothing mm -hmm. nothing not good about this cigar. Correct. Paul, I'm with Scott and T. It's a nine. A solid yeah. good nine. Solid nine. Hmm. Mm, I think I'm right in between all of you. I think it's about a 925. <laughs> you are I really, between really all like of this cigar. Yeah, you are. I just wish I could afford more of them. This, a, this is a treat to yourself. This is, free. That's why this is a so treat to yourself. Oh, no, it's not this free. I already paid for it. If you're looking for a good gift, you know, Christmas is coming up. Definitely. There's no better gift than treating yourself. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't like that. to do that. Nobody ever wants to get, you know, holidays, nobody ever wants to get me cigars. They're like, oh, you, you have enough. I'm like, that's nobody it's not You can never possible. have enough yeah. cigars. You know, they give me other stuff, though. <laughs> that's true. To give you grief? Yes. yes. Hey, plenty. <laughs> so again, <laughs> plenty this is AJ Fernandez month. Yep. Come into any one of the nine cigar cigar stores and, you know, buy five, get two more free, buy a box or 20 assorted and get eight free. It's a great bargain for a great line of cigars. I mean, this... This sucker makes is a great cigar. Is it too cigar. free at the register, or is it too free of any kind you want to too pick? Too free at the register. At the register. Too free at the register. Yes. And it's a great, it's and a great visit deal. us online at cccigars.com. That's double, double C, C cigars. Cigars. Dot com. Oh my God. And don't forget, support your local tobacco. Yeah. That's important. Definitely. Absolutely. And if they don't have San Latano, tell them Ask to get them it. For tell them to get it. Tell That's them to right. get it. Absolutely. Yes. I don't know who wouldn't be carrying this line of cigars, but if they don't, they should have it. I remember, when we, I remember when we first, I think you were in Florida, and we were texting back and forth, and I was like, we got to get this. we got to get this. You're like, calm down, Scott. The, I, the I had, Yeah, I had one. I had the Habano, and I love it. I'm like, the Habano? Forget that. I like the Maduro. <laughs> I'm not as fan as the, I'm the not a fan of the Maduro as, as I'm um, the Habano. Mm. The, no, well, I, I think we're going to be rating the Habano later. Yeah, yeah. Next but week, I'm not a fan week, of. Yeah. I don't know. Is there something about the Maduro? I that was the first one I smoked, and I was excited no, I about it at first, and then it just kind of disappointed me. The, ov the oval Maduro. Now, Maduro see, that's, that's different. different. That's, that's different. different. That's different. different. Yeah, animal. the old yeah. humidor is different. Well, again, I just want to remind everybody, our cigars come right out of the humidor. We're not supplied the cigars by the manufacturer for rating, and everybody on the panel's opinion is their own. And again, part of the enjoyment of smoking premium cigars is the fact that you get to set the standard, and you get to enjoy it. So, again, we're running out of time. For real? Yeah, yeah. for yeah. real. For so, real. It's really time to kind of say goodbye. Life's too short to smoke cheap cigars. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jake. Which smoke Jake? happy and smoke oh. often. Hi, Jake. Oh, hi, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Bye bye for now. Smoke sweet. Say hi. Ciao for now, everybody. <laughs> hi, Jake. <laughs> I don't know who Jake is, but hi, Jake. <laughs> hi, Allie. Just think if his name Allie. were Jack. If his name were Jack, you could say hi, Jack. You'd get uh, arrested on the spot. Mind. Never mind. Well, we've come to an end of another episode <laughs> oh of Cigar God. Time. It's so sad. We always it. run out of time. We want to thank you for your business. Thank you for viewing, and we'll see you real soon. Goodbye. Bye.